media has been a source of joy for most of us. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok. You can post, like, comment, whatever you like without fear of being censored. You can see people creating content for personal consumption or even as a way to earn money. For all intents and purposes, these are good, particularly when you are giving well-documented information, spreading good news, and just lightening the mood of people. But this quickly turns to bitterness when we start spreading rumors, fake news, influencing and dragging people down. Our judgment is uncalled for as we do not fully grasp the full picture. And yet, these same accusations we hurl to people are the same accusations we are ashamed to open up. We hide behind the golden doors, but inside is full of rubbish and skeletons. We hear of the gospel reading for today of John the Baptist chiding the people of Israel for their unfaithfulness to God. He was shaking the foundation of their belief and settling them from their complacency and arousing them to have faith in the person of Christ who is already amidst of them. Is this the same kind of judgment that we are doing now in the social media? Not if we are like John the Baptist, who has devoted his entire life to prayer and word of God. Not like if we are true to ourselves and ready to be naked before the Heavenly Father. Not like if we can face others without any stain on our own clothing. John was led by the Spirit to proclaim and announce the fulfillment for the longing of the promised Messiah, the eternal promise of God who will be with them and save them from their slavery to sin. This second Sunday of Advent, we are invited by John the Baptist to repent and turn away from sin, which removes us away from the community. To live a new life according to the life of Jesus, so that we can also be baptized with fire, radiating with joy and truth coming from the gospel. To announce to the world the coming of Christ, to the world that is in desperate need of God's light, hope, and truth. We are given the chance to transform other people's lives by being lights, pointing to the one source of light. And yes, sometimes the only way to tell people that they are wrong is by witnessing to the truth ourselves, not judging, but understanding, not finger pointing, but embracing, being the light amidst the darkness of the night. Mm -hmm.